Hey guys, Pastor Burton here with a quick bite, uh, just to kind of make things a little clearer on uh, some questions that have been coming in. Now, uh, I'm going to go through these in a certain order, and there's a particular reason for it because I'm actually, you know, building to something here, um, which it's great. It's good news. It's a great plan altogether. And I, I think you're going to like it. Um, the first question is. And I'll explain where this stemmed from. Uh, the first question is, I heard you were recently ordained. I thought you already were. And the answer to this is yes and yes. Um, I have been ordained for a number of years. Uh, I've had uh, ordination under a couple of different organizations. Uh, that has not changed. Now, with that said, certain churches, in order to recognize people as being part of their staff, you know, as like a staff pastor or anything like that, they have to meet certain guidelines in order to be recognized as such. And for the last couple of years, of course, I've been leading the veterans ministry at Cross Christian Fellowship Route 66, and I've recently become, uh, you know, over the last uh, you know, little over a year, um, more involved, I took over as music director, and I've been stepping into other shoes as well. And in order for them to officially recognize me as one of their pastors, I was ordained within their bylaws and their guidelines. So this is an additional ordination on top of what I've already had for years and years, which is a great thing. It's just the Lord opening another door, um, which is absolutely wonderful. Okay, uh, with that said, the next question is, well, what does that mean for this ministry? Well, that that just means that this ministry is going to be able to reach that many more people. It's not going anywhere, right? I started this ministry over a decade ago. Where I go, it goes. It follows me uh, everywhere. How it's going to get wrapped in, I'm not sure yet. However, you know, the podcast and everything is going to remain the same. The veterans outreach is going to remain uh, you know, in place as well. That's not going anywhere. Uh, what it does mean is more than likely my preaching on Sundays, which is happening more and more so, um, there at at uh, Cross Christian Fellowship, more more likely it's probably going to be uh, you know what you're going to be hearing on the podcast here a little bit more regular on top of regular episodes like uh, this week and have been mixed in there as well, right? Um, the things that you all have come to know me for. Now, um, what what all is going on there with, that's prompted all these changes? Well, it, it's quite simply this. Um, Pastor Mark, who I love, he he was there for my wedding. Um, our our wives, you know, have known each other for years as well. Um, he moved south of Albuquerque. He has a new property that he's looking to start a new ministry at um, down closer to home, and. You know, he's, he's been saying for years, even before all this happened, before I even came um, to Cross Christian, you know, he, the Lord had been putting on his heart for a while that times were changing and that he was going to be uh, moving away um, to start a new ministry, which is what's starting to happen now. Um, with that said, uh, Pastor Mark, he went to the Board of Trustees and he made the recommendation that I be his successor. Now, he, of course, is not the end all be all there. He had to go to the Board of Trustees. The board of trustees um, reviewed things. They've heard me preach. They know what I'm about and my background and everything. And so they took a vote and then uh, approached me. And uh, the 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 vote was that I am to be uh, the successor. So, so should I choose so? Uh, you know, to accept that. And uh, at this point, I have. Um, we're still working through some things. There's still a transition period that's going on um, and everything. So that, that's what happened there. Um, you know, Pastor Mark, he'll still be involved just in a much different role uh, and everything. You know, like a lot of uh, senior pastors, he's not completely leaving and stepping away, but he'll still be involved. And like I said, he's a good friend of mine. So he's somebody that I lean on for various things as well. So these are all uh, really good things. A lot is happening, um, you know, for years and years now with, you know, the mobile ministry being what it is, you know, we've talked about trying to find a permanent location or at least a place where we could have Sunday services. Well, guess what? This is how it's going to happen. This is what the Lord's provided. So that's that, that's what we're going to start seeing. You know, we've been, you know, there's been talk about a permanent location. Well, this is going to be a permanent brick location, which is great. Uh, we've talked about trying to find a good way to have uh, video as well, 
Well, guess what? That that's also going to be coming with, um, you know, this this transition as well. Uh, matter of fact, there uh, on their YouTube channel, there with Cross Christian Fellowship, um, you can actually already see me preaching there, um, especially over the last month and a half or so. Um, as prominently uh, been myself as Pastor Mark's been away dealing with personal issues, which you know it's it's a good thing. Um, so there's there's a whole lot happening behind the scenes. That's what's going on. Like I said, nothing here at the podcast is changing. You know, you guys have, you, you know, you got, you've gotten to know, you know, know me. Those of you who have listened, um, you know, to the podcast for, you know, the almost two years that it's been going, you know, you've come to expect certain things. None of that's changing. None of that is going away. Uh, so, you know, all really good things. I'm really excited about this. I'm really pumped. You know, the Lord is opening doors for us and, and has brought us partnerships, uh, you know, uh, within the the body of Christ, you know that we just we we wouldn't have expected, you know, all the, those years ago when we first started uh, down this path. You know, this has been a this has been a goal that we've been reaching towards in small steps, and now we've got a huge one in front of us, and, and I'm excited to see uh, what what comes of it. Um, so sit back, enjoy. If you have questions, of course, don't hesitate. Shoot me an email. Uh, you know, uh, I do see all those; those do come directly to me. You know, um, or if you know me on Facebook, uh, you know, message me. I will tell you these days on Facebook, I'm not looking uh, at the messages as often as I used to. I need to get better at that. Um, email is better um, just because I do have so much going on. Um, but please, you know, keep those questions coming. Let me know what you're thinking of, thinking of. Let me know what your concerns are. Let me know what you would like to hear me preach about, what your questions are, all that good stuff, uh, you know, because I'm here to serve you. And, and without knowing, uh, you know, what's going on out there or what concerns or questions you have or what it is that you're looking to learn more about, you, you know, it's it's not as, as easy for me. Uh, to to be able to address uh, everything as a, as it should be, you know, I feel like there's still holes out there. Um, so definitely, let me know what those holes are, so we can we can address them uh, together as uh, we continue to grow. So uh, good times. Um, that's all I have for you today. Uh, another uh, fresh episode, of course, is coming up this Friday. I hope you tune in for it. And, and uh, you know, for those of you who are here in the Albuquerque and Metro area, you know, please feel free to join us at Cross Christian Fellowship Route 66 uh, on Sundays at 1030. We are located right off of Central, so when you look up Cross Christian Fellowship, make sure you're looking at the right one. We are at the Route 66 location off of uh, Central Boulevard. All right, so uh, take care. Love you all. Remember, you are a blessing and you are loved. Now go and be the church.